Alrighty, and welcome back, everyone. So, all the side bits out of the way. I thought I had more to work with, but I guess you can only do so many at a certain time, or whatever the case may be. But anyways, we gotta meet with Sadie. See what she's got for us. Okay, let's plop you there. And I see I got a question mark down there. I'll investigate that later. Don't you worry about me. There you are. There I am. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are oh. going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. Hmm. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In oh, this, shit. In this. We're gonna pretend to be police officers. <laughs> Okay. Come on. Ooh, Sadie looking fine in that dress. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll well, the Dutch does, you don't, but that's only because I look like a goddamn mountain man. On, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Cole Fair enough. Hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. True. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cole. I, I like that Dutch considers Kieran part of the gang. Him to eternity. Amen to that. Yeah. Keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. For real, I'm with Sadie. to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. All right, so I wonder how this is going to go down exactly. Well, here, don't the public love an execution? That they do. My question is, how the hell do they capture him? Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Ah. Oh. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. Hmm. What are they pointing at? I don't know. Somebody on the roof? We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. Stay here. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Like say just well, you gotta work well, I mean, then again, she has like uber pent up aggression against Cole. Officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess <clears> they <throat> did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I don't think he was implying that. I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. I can agree to that. And now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to die. Yeah, like, that's the important thing, is Colm O'Driscoll's going to die. Or hopefully going to die. Granted, I don't know. Let's, I guess we'll just see how this goes. I, I just feel like it'd be more... Quiet. I was hoping for, like, a, an epic, like, confrontation with him. And to have, like, Dutch execute him. 
Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. Yep. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building maybe and get him and do it silently. Well, obviously I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Find a way to the rooftop. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. A ladder, huh? Let's go up the ladder then. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Okay. Oh, don't mind me, miss. <laughs> Look like I was. Yeah, yeah, I'm not bad. I, I'm not trying to, like, be a perv or anything. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just inspecting this door. And I'm also inspecting the, uh, the balcony. Return to the Shears location. Oh, whoops. Okay, inspection done. Yep. Here's you. Oh, yeah. Do 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 do. Hop up here. Yep. Yep, he knew we were coming. Boss is gonna swing. I promise. Down you go. Welcome. There goes your escape plan. For as long as any of us can remember, it is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be justice. Get to the square. Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Cold There's the two of them. Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped. And abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence. Damn. I like how none of nobody behind them is like by reacting. The neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we have, <laughs> but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen. Oh, he realizes now. Oh, that look. May God in his oh, he is wisdom, fucking terrified. <laughs> mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You are terminated. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Son of a bitch!
I don't know if that killed him or not. Wait, where are you two at? Put a bullet in him. Headshot. Hey, go, go, go. Down you go. Damn it. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. He should have a bullet hole in his head. It just throws it in the trash. Okay, that was um, it wasn't the ending for Col the Cornwall Driscoll storyline that I wanted, but it makes sense. It wasn't. It, it seems more grounded with like what would really happen, and in, in a way, it's kind of like you know that guaranteed vengeance. Because like Cornwall's like, oh, I'm gonna get away yet again. And then Dutch and Sadie and Arthur show up, and he's just like, shit, I'm fucked. I'm actually going to die this time. How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't going to save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. True. Yeah, the O'Driscolls yeah, are... Compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. Yeah. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? <laughs> is that a ring? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Oh Arthur. Arthur. Oh Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. Oh, man. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much. And it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Damn, that's rough. That's rough. I mean, I think it's... Jesus. I think it's cathartic, though, because Mary can move on. I think Arthur wanted Mary to be happy and move on. Because... There was no escaping this life. Hell of time, Arthur. Yeah. Hey, Uncle. 
How are you doing? Oh, feel like a horse ran over me. <laughs> hmm. Just keep your fingers crossed. Yep, Arthur. Alrighty. Karen. Hey, Karen. Here we are, Arthur. She is just a drunken mess. Hey, Morgan. You can be quiet. Now. What's with you? Are you gonna throw you me out like Strauss? Oh, Bill, fuck you. Jack! Come here. Come here, Jack. Nope, Jack, stay the hell away from him. The dog ain't coming back. Hmm? Now get lost! <laughs> what an <laughs> asshole! <laughs> I, I want to deck you in the fucking head, you asshole. What the hell did you do to the dog? Must have run away, dumb mutt. You bastard. I really do not fucking like this asshole. So who do you think the rat is? Rat? Well, someone's talking to somebody. They has to be. <sighs> I reckon they just caught our scent. We can't shake them off, that's all. That's what I'm thinking, too. I think it's Marston. <sighs> Nonsense. Mark my words. Oh, excuse you. Hey, Bill, come here. You fucker, come here. What the hell do you want, dog killing fuck nugget? They, I mean, they, I'm sorry, they, it's a little over the top with how much of a douchebag they're turning Micah into. I think it's just a little too on the nose. Like, there's just nothing likable about him. He's not charming. He was charismatic to a degree, but... Okay, fella. Even looking back on it, it wasn't that much. I don't know. Stay alert there, Javier. Hey, Arthur. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. Hmm. Hey, that's why we're all here. Sure, Arthur. All right, anyway, let's go we'll see what John Marston... One second. Okay, it's just my phone catching up with shit. Eagle flies and rains fall. Oh my god, we got all kinds of shit with him. So yeah, I don't know if it's explicitly stating that... Now, even Uncle's getting fed up with him. So you watch your damn tongue. I've never seen Uncle angry. Like, even Uncle's, like, sick of his shit. I don't know what the fuck Dutch sees in Micah. Other than Micah's a yes man to him. I think that might be what it is. He's the only one affirming that what Dutch is doing is correct. And Dutch is just too blind to see that, um... Micah's not a good guy. <laughs> I mean, none of these people are necessarily good people. They're good-ish. They have redeeming qualities, but Micah, he's got nothing. Mike, yeah, Micah's just got nothing. And if anything, I gotta say, like, Lenny, Hosea, and uh, Sean dying when they did. I mean, that's... Hosea especially. Like, I can't imagine, you know, what he would think about this situation. But I think him dying was... I think his death was one of the other final nails in the coffin. Between him and Molly, I think that's what put Dutch on, like, complete and utter edge. Like, he just does not really care anymore. Or rather, he, he wants to believe he can't succeed, and Mike is the only one saying, yes, you can, yes, you can, without, you know, giving him or telling him what he needs to hear. He's only being told what he wants to hear by him. And then Arthur's, you know, is trying to say, like, hey, Dutch, you know, like, you, you're, you're losing it, dude, you're slipping. You know, you're killing old ladies, and you're... Actually, it really started with, um, Bronte. Like, I think that was the beginning of his, uh, downward spiral. But then again, you could say that even the Blackwater thing was the beginning of the end. Yeah. Beca yeah, because, I mean, this entire story has just been one downhill roller coaster for these guys. Because, you know, the whole, uh... Braithwaite's and Grace. I mean, that's that was Dutch feeling like, oh, hey, I'm back at it again. I can still, you know, play people. I still have my trump cards and whatnot. Right there, 
but then it turns out he was wrong. He wasn't manipulating anybody. They they were onto him almost immediately as or almost as soon as he got in good with both of them. Granted, I mean that that scene where you have it's you and all those guys going towards the Braithwaite house. That was that was some of the fish. No, the hell. Oh, really? Also, I... Okay. It's lucky bucket. This is oh, okay. I was laying down. I was glitching through the ground. Getting any gold there, buddy boy? Zinc. Don't you hide from me now. Get out of there. Come on. The heck? You mean you got a bug in there? Another little bit of nothing. Well, that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, I mean, you know, Dutch thought he had the Braithwaite and the Grays wrapped around his finger, but nope. They cut onto him. But yeah, that, that scene where everybody walks through, that's that was one of the shit. Nothing. No. Damn line pile of dirty rotten wasting my time. You're up there, old boy. Don't take it hard, friend. You'll be alright. Well, bye. See ya. Okay. Guess that was nothing then. I thought he was another guy that like, oh hey, I found a golden gun, and I was gonna rob him of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm trying to remember if it was this playthrough. Oh wait, no, I don't even think I've encountered him in this playthrough yet. The guy he finds a gold ingot or a gold nugget, and he's all happy and chipper about it. Um, the first time I played, I played this, I shot him in the head. And I was like, I probably should have just lassoed him. I probably wouldn't have been. That would have been a bit more of an Arthurism. So Arthur's not a kid. <laughs> Because Arthur's not a killer, per se. But yeah, and then, you know, once we get to um, Bronte, once again, Dutch was outplayed by the guy he was trying to manipulate or work with or whatever. I mean, I guess in fairness, he, in hindsight, he did not trust Bronte, but he didn't think Bronte would do anything to oppose him. And I guess Bronte's reasons for taking out, or trying to take out Dutch and his gang was, um... I don't want to say he was necessarily scared of them, but I think it was, um... I think he just knew they were trouble. Jesus. He knew they were trouble and he didn't want to bite, ugh, be bothered with them. Somebody's... Somebody's camp got burned to shit. Crap, what is this path? What is this path? No, wait, no, actually, I think I've been down here before. Yeah, yeah, because I remember going down when I was hunting the grizzly, I think. This is my first time playing through it. I was, I went through all kinds of weird circles trying to find that stupid bear. All kinds of weird circles, I tell you. But yeah, I mean, once we did the bank robbery and then Hosea died and Lenny died, the future and the past, then the present was fucked. I definitely need to brush this horse. Are we getting close? Cause holy crap. Okay, yeah, we're close. I was like, hold on, did it disappear on me? All right, Johnny boy, how goes it?
hell are you at? Is he inside the thing? Or do I gotta hop on this? Apparently not. Arthur, oh, there, Jesus, there nervous, you are. But I've been nervous for a while. The bridge to nowhere. Of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? Yeah. You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Yeah, what that's really good advice. Or what matters? Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Yeah. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> And knowing what happens in Red Dead Redemption 1, that makes the scene even more tragic. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. <laughs> Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down oh, on the and plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Yeah, for real. Are, are we going to have a train follow us? Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. Yeah. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> got it. It'd be real awkward if a train. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot. Lower it from there. No, more to your right. No, oh, more to your right. More to your left. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Something's going to happen. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, that music is making me think something's about to happen. Just wait for the moment. Start lowering it, Arthur. Nice and easy. All right. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. okay. Plant it there. I'm guessing he's starting on the opposite. No, I know, because we only got the two crates. Hey, what the hell is John doing? Okay, good. I was going to say, can I just run? Por favor. 
Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. All right. Yeah, I think this is the last. Yeah, it's the last bundle. Okay, so John was planting one on his own. How you doing down there? Doing all right. Just got one more to plant, and we are golden. Golden as a goose. Yeah. And we're good. Shit. I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Uh oh. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! I'm on my way. Oh. Faster, buddy, come on! Shit. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! Oh shit. That had me nervous. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Nah, no shit. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. You would think that train would have like tried to I think it did try to slow down. I'm gonna think about it. Um I think the line held. You want the honors? Show sure. up. Sure. <gasps> Boom! I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. <laughs> well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. To yes, sir. Truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. Yeah. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. <laughs> Automatic lanterns. Neat. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. <laughs> look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How do you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. Yeah, you do. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Maybe you and your kid. I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Oh, really? Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. True. It was Dutch. Yeah. That's yeah. Good, good, good fucking speech there, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, you guys remain loyal. You remain... True to yourselves? You didn't change? Or change for the worse, I should say.
<laughs> All right there, Arthur. Go here, boy. Ludwig, my boy. Come on now, boy. Come on now, boy. Alrighty, where are we off to next? Oh, Rain's Fall isn't too far away. What does Eagle Flies want? They're just giving Eagle Flies to take action against the military. You agreed with Charles that you would speak to Rain's Fall. Okay. I'm just making sure this isn't like a choice that I have. Yep. Yep. Go, go. Like if it's an A, B kind of thing. But yeah, they're definitely doing a good job setting up for um, Red Dead Redemption 1 when, uh, or where uh, John is the main character, obviously. I'm sorry, I'm feeding you this carrot boy. I know you hate carrots, but I'm feeding it to you because you need to be healthy. I'm sorry I don't brush you as much as I should. Your hair is as scraggly as my beard, which I need to trim ever so badly. I want to keep him with the, the mountain man look, though, because I feel like it's just a, a sign of showing that, like, Arthur's just, like, he doesn't, I don't, don't want to say he doesn't care, but that he's, you know, he's, like, resigned himself or whatever, I guess. Whoopi. I thought I said Wop at first. I was like, what the hell of a name? Wop it. Whoopiti. Can I use weapons in this area? Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna shoot these guys. But since we're, uh... I wouldn't say buddy-buddy, but we're on good terms. Mister? You do not belong here. We have nothing for you. Yes, yes, I know. I'm here to speak with your chief. Or rather, Charles wants me to speak with your chief. Why well, Charles didn't come himself, I don't know. Or why didn't he come with? Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. No, he's been better. I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. <laughs> Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. As you know. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, Jeez. I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son... Thinks there is glory in death. Hmm. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, he talks a lot. Yeah. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight, please. It won't take long. 
And maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! That'd be nice. The hell? I'm glad I caught you, sir. Oh. Captain Monroe. Do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. Monroe, that sounds familiar. Oh, How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Can read the Redemption One. Follow me. Where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long ah, and maybe I'm, sacred to me. Maybe I'm mixing him up with someone. And healing. I'm coming what through. Is this news, coming through. Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length, but regrettably. It appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. Damn. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Uh, sure. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. I don't. I mean, yeah, these the, the Native American dudes don't seem that bad. Not my favorite characters, mind you, but I'm just curious. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Hmm. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. And the lessons aren't sticking. Good. There was no need to harm them. Oh, okay. I was going to just shoot my gun up. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Uh, Dutch. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But, sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. We'll have plenty of time to talk. I need will be growing down here. Oh, okay. We'll have plenty of time to talk. You'll have plenty of time to think. Oh wait, sorry, I must do the thing. Out of you though. Really nice view. Oh man. That was that first screenshot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe if I cut off where the map is. Yeah, that'd be a real good screenshot. Mace, huh? You spray my eyes. Okay. Let's continue on. Okay. You were saying before you rode off? I didn't ride off, you rode off. He's been unraveling for some time now, and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire. Well, including eagle flies. Yeah, I was gonna say so people have already been caught in the crossfire. I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. 
Let me give this some thought. You do that. Uh, Arthur's son. You know, I had a son once. Oh, did you? Years ago. Don't talk about him much. Well, Lenny? What was his name? Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. <laughs> we can talk more about this later. Fucking hell, this keep is trolling me. <laughs> you have plenty of time to talk, Arthur. Wait, hold on, I must pick this ginseng. I can't work and talk at the same time. Fucking hairs everywhere. Probably, from, will combine well. probably brushing my cats earlier. The one you normally see uh, back there, or sometimes in the background on the couch, she sheds worse than the male, even though the male has thicker fur. She's passed Wait, out over there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Then head somewhere. Oh, appreciate it. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So, you were saying? No, what was his name? Isaac. Oh, no, he did actually have a son. His okay. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. Hmm. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid. Nineteen. What happened? I got there one day and... Saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Ah. Uh. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. Damn. Off for ten dollars. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Yeah, you are. Maybe. There he is. Bleh. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Yeah, Monroe. And that feller, Monroe, how you know him? Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. It's just up ahead. The regiment or where we're going? <laughs> it's just it up ahead. Happened. No. It can't be. The hell? Oh, hey, it's that bird's head we came across earlier. No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Clearly. Damn. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. Unknown animal. What is it? There must be some clue as to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. I see no end to any of this. Hey. Something over here. Flask. Yep. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. That boulder movie kind of weirded me out for a second. Focus on the horse. Hello, what do we got over here? Logs. More over here. Okay, you just stared at the logs? Let's go see what that is over there. Mr. Morgan. What? Oh. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Well, 
Well, what now? Oop. No, okay, I guess we keep investigating. The flask. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Obviously. Is it rising to the east? Is it coming from Mount Doom? Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Ah, okay, I see it. Do you have any binoculars? I do indeed, sir. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. Hmm. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. Yeah. Unfortunately. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. That's, that sounds about what I would have expected. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Damn. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. <laughs> True. Um, I'm, I'm assuming we gotta do this all sneaky-like. That would be how I would do it. It doesn't make any sense to go in there guns a blazing because that would just piss off the the military dudes. I don't know if that's the private army or if it's like the U.S. army. I suppose it could create a distraction. Toss some dynamite in there. Full. Down you go. Is France near Kim? Then what's that? No, shit, shit, shit. Go, 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 go. What's got this horse boot, huh? <laughs> They're on to me. Okay, let's have some fun. Everybody, 
I believe that is everybody. Uh, one repeater. I don't want a one repeater. They didn't even know I was here. Is that it? Trumpa and the secret items. Yeah, either way, I would have had to have killed them. See what's in this here chest. Take some jewelry. Take some more jewelry. Poison arrow pamphlet. We can't take any of the arrows. Looks like a bedroll. Spec document. What document? We'll take the crackers. Document was it telling me to inspect? Hmm. I definitely do not see it. All right, let us return to the the chief uh, Rain's Fall. Yeah, we got his name there for a split second. <laughs> God damn it, Arthur! Don't die trying to make it back up the hill. We are kind of close for time here. Okay, maybe I should have brought Ludwig. Come on, Arthur. You need your exercise anyway, boy. Got to keep up your strength. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was hoping, or I was thinking there was a way for me to sneak in there, but obviously I don't think that was going to happen. I think you have to kill them, even though my, I think my honor level went down a bit, but, oh well. All right, let's, yeah, come on, Arthur, go, go. Why aren't you going? Why are you walking? Besides, we don't know if they had scouts running about. I did. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. Yep. I should not have let you do this for me, but perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. Yeah, exactly. Please, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. I hope so, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. We shall see. All right, that wasn't a bad mission. It was. It was good character. Uh, He's a man who, not so the conversation long, between the two, I like that. And pathetic. Now I see is wise and thoughtful and sensible. Yeah. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Well, alrighty then, folks. Can I help? What the hell? Am I on an island? Am I on Gilligan's Island? Okay, now it just teleported me all the way down there. So we gotta go talk to Captain Monroe. She seems to be... Okay, yeah, they're equally apart. 
yeah, I think in the next video we'll go talk to him. But uh, anywho, folks, I will see you all next time.